Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Cross watchers are welcome. I'm available for pre-recorded. That information is in the description. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you for loving, guiding, and protecting me. Please allow me to connect to the collective sign of Virgo and the collective. <laughs> Please allow me to connect to the collective sign of Virgo and any other sign to give guidance and advice to those who need it and also please surround me with a protective white light of the highest frequency and only allow positive energy into my space. Amen. 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 A Virgo royalty gang gang collective a gang gang. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves because I am. Okay, let's get some messages from the person on your mind. Okay. Energy as of now, I wish to be like you. And I wish to be different. So... <laughs> I'm here in Kanye West, bro. It's a million of you. It's only one of me. <laughs> okay. That's how you feel? I can't make a decision. There's somebody here, they're not good with their emotions, and they can't make a decision when it comes to you. Well, Virgo, you don't need no indecisive motherfuckers, okay? I long for your kiss. Indecisive motherfuckers. I'm playing these games. What is the truth? I'm stuck in visions of us together. Yeah, because you don't. The way I've treated you is wrong. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. Don't wait for me. Yeah, don't be sitting around waiting for no fucking body. I don't know who I am anymore. Okay, overall energy of this reading is I'm stuck in visions of us together. Get your fucking headphones, earbuds. Shit, you might want to smoke a joint. I'm just saying. A psycho, crazy ex obsessed. Like that. So here's the thing I promise you, somebody is watching you. I'm promise, I promise you, whoever's watching, somebody is watching you. <laughs> Secret accounts, all that. Self-love. I see you, Virg. I see you, cross-watcher. I see you. Somebody is like... You're in somebody's head. Right fucking, fucking free, Virg. And you could have been the kind of person, like, you were on your healing journey, right? You were... You know, doing your spiritual work. Um, twin flames came out. And it was like you could have been with somebody that was committed to misunderstanding you. What is the truth? Okay, so you and this person, you're marrying each other. On the bottom, we have rejected. Pop the 
question. You may have walked away from somebody and you're happily single and now they want to pop the question. Somebody feels rejected by you. Somebody could be getting readings on you. Somebody may have tried to suppress your spiritual gifts here. You may have met this person at work. We have love messages in the outcome. Somebody may message you. You may have been married to this person, okay? So what I'm getting is somebody could be getting readings on you as well to figure out, like, if you're their person. I was watching. You're probably like, um, I'm long gone, though. I get it. I get it. And as I split this deck, we have twin flames. Once I get these cards out, I'm going, I'm going to process this shit. Maybe you got fed up in this connection. Maybe this connection was training you. So, let me see. Okay, new love, new person, unknown person. So... There could be a new person coming into your energy or how this person feels towards you. They feel like, you know, you have options. I'm seeing the seven of cups in my mind. Like I don't have my tarot deck with me where I'm at. I have to go get them because trust me, I got a lot, but only have three decks with me. Um, neighbor, small talk, grapevine. So you could be the kind of person, you're like, you're on your spiritual path. You want to be different. You may have heard something through the grapevine about this person. You may have heard something from your neighbors about this person. Communication. Told you, somebody may reach out and communicate with you. I long for your kiss, twin flames, control, releasing, taking back power, kinky in the bedroom. <laughs> you get on my nerves. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you get on my nerves. And then the outcome, we have open relationship, no commitment, casual openness. So some of you, you don't want a commitment right now. Maybe you just been through some things where you just kind of don't want a commitment right now. I feel like you and your twin um, just could be in the same kind of energy. We have karma on the bottom, toxic love story, new opportunities. So some of you, you're coming out of a toxic situation, but it's allowing you to walk into new opportunities. Okay. Love hate. Somebody loves you and they hate you. Like they fucking hate you. They love you and they hate you. Oh well. You know what? As I look back on, you know, the relationships and the people I've come in contact with, like especially my personal relationships, like it'll be all lovey dovey and then like these motherfuckers, they end up hating you. They love you and they hate you, so they watch you. They dip in and out your life, right? It's weird. It's like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. The new person, because <laughs> you're going to be glowing. you glowing like you're glowing. You're glowing and flowing, okay? Your new person going to be good in bed. If that's what you're looking for, even better. Y'all going to be addicted to each other? It's going to be like a drug addiction.
how this person feels towards you. They can't read it. <laughs> they can't make a decision. They're not happy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Two beast things, bitch. <laughs> Block, spam, calls, and texts. So somebody wants to have an honest conversation with you. Maybe you block this person energetically. I don't think you block this person. M many of you could have. Okay. Oh, this is isn't this isn't it ironic? Uh, don't you think? <laughs> Okay, um, we have my way, selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride, and ego. I'm wondering if this is weird. So did you go through a karmic situation with your twin flame? I'm so mad I ain't got my tarot. Some zodiac signs out this bitch, but I know this story real. And then the outcome we have too late. Some of you feel like, okay, with this person, you know, wherever you went through this resistance and uncomfortableness, um, could be a recent connection, could be, you know, if you felt like it was toxic, you may feel like whatever you went through with someone toxic, you just, you feel like it's too late and you're tired of going around and around in circles well, you learn some lessons. Cycles, triggers, lessons. Karma, we have... Oh, I can't wait to take a picture of this shit right here. I can't. Let's get you an oracle card. Expect phone calls. There's people having small talk about you. Or there's like small talk about this person. You took your power back, releasing people, places, and things that no, no longer serve you. Cussing and coffee, bitch. Cussing and coffee. You got a vibe with the right tribe. Or like, oh shit, Jackie, you rapping. <laughs> Rhyming, I see you. Rhyming with great timing. Man, that's my bestie. She a Scorpio. She'll tell you, Jackie used to write freaky poetry. <laughs> Yo, I was a mess. Man, but I was like one of the coolest people. In the Poconos, bitch. I heard it through the grapevine. You got a lot of new opportunities coming towards you. You just got to break some of these cycles. That's all. You just got to break some of these cycles. And I think it boils down to, again, your tribe. Um, you don't ever want to be in a circle where you feel like you have to dim your light or make yourself feel small. Um, I'm getting some Robin Williams kind of energy. Like, you know, I feel like it's... I read... I don't want to feel alone in my friend circle. I don't want to feel alone in my tribe circle, right? Like, and if I feel that way, then I'm I'm just not going to stay there. I've always been spiritual, but like growing up, I had to hide that, that part of me until I met like-minded people. So, maybe somebody was supposed to hear that. Okay, on a 
bottom we have movement choices and decisions i'm gonna take this right here because it was in my face it's in my face okay card number two interesting so um, before i even read the meaning somebody's at a fork in a room or not even a fork like you have choices You have doors in front of you, and all you have to do is walk through the right door. What does that door look like for you? What rooms do you want to be in in 2024? I had to ask myself that question. Like, okay, Jacqueline, this other stuff is getting old. Like, what rooms do you really want to be in? And that's why I started posting, like, crystals and different rooms and interior design and stuff. Because I'm like, I know the rooms I want to be in. I know the people I want to be with. I know the community I want to contribute to, right? Like, you really have to sit down with yourself. And, yeah, if you don't know what you want, you're not going to get it. Like, I know what I want. Like, I want to meet my subscribers. I want to travel. I want to have a cup of coffee with the right people. Like, I was dating somebody that didn't drink coffee. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he didn't even eat pizza. Like... Well, he ate it, but he was like, I don't really like pizza like that. Like, who doesn't fucking like pizza? And so, like, I've had to silence my authenticity, like. And sometimes opposites really do attract. It don't make, I don't, it don't make them a bad person. Like, we gotta stop. There are, everybody has their shit, right? I feel like, I don't know, for some of you, the person you were with, they meant well, but in some way, I don't know who I'm talking to, they could have been kind of, I'm not going to say threatened, maybe, I could be naive, but maybe you two were attracted to each other for the wrong reasons, I'll say that, I'll say that, maybe you two were attracted, attracted to each other for the wrong reasons, okay, trapped in fear, Somebody needs to do more heart chakra work, okay? So how do you do that? Sometimes you can put your hand over your heart and you could do the whole pono pono. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. Yes, bitch, I said it three times, not just for you, but for me too. <laughs> okay, let me find this card. I like making long videos. I think I get. I will get my other fucking cards. Alright, this card. Not that one. Okay. This card indicates a time of movement. <clears throat> Significant changes and choices must be made. With hard work, great effort, and determination, you have the ability to juggle all the demands that are in front of you. Whether they concern money, business decisions, or other projects, it's important to stay flexible and focused. You don't have to do it alone. I be feeling like that. Like, maybe I just gotta do it all alone because sometimes you gotta be maniacal when it comes to your vision. Not everybody gonna see your vision, that's okay. Reach out for the best advice and assistance. In addition, a financial union or partnership may present itself to you. The more time you take to make these vital decisions and choices, the longer it will be for be before you can move towards your goals in the physical material world. The changes that are coming aren't some random acts of coincidences. They're all part of a positive and larger scheme. Notice the connections with everything, as this will enable you to avoid future problems and conflicts. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.